Former President Donald Trump is making one last desperate bid to delay his hush money trial until the Supreme Court rules on whether or not he has presidential immunity. Trump is currently set to face trial in New York on March 25th for his role in hush money payments to adult fi uh, film actress Stormy Daniels ahead of the 2016 presidential election. So the immunity argument is interesting because the payments actually took place before Trump became president. So I don't know how presidential immunity would apply here. Uh, the state of New York's case is based on Trump making the payments and then falsifying business records or and ordering others to falsify business records in order to cover up those payments so that Daniel's story would not come up during the election. Okay, so th that's part of the catch and kill, uh, which also involved uh, Karen McDougal. So now Trump uh, is alleged to have covered up the payments by claiming that they were legal expenses paid to Trump's lawyer at the time, his lawyer and fixer, Michael Cohen. So look, falsifying business records is a crime, but generally it's considered a low level crime. So how could this lead to uh, prison time for Trump? Again, this is a classy felony that most people never <clears throat> really go to prison for, all right? So what's different about this is that if prosecutors can prove that Trump had falsified or caused false entries to be entered in to business records with the intention of concealing another crime. In this case, that crime would be campaign finance violations because, again, using this money to bury the story that could have a negative effect on his political campaign, then he could actually be convicted and serve prison time. So understand that that right there falsifying these records to cover up what uh, essentially could be a campaign contribution that elevates it up to uh, a federal and uh, election interference case, even though it is technically a state case because he falsified the business records in the state of New York. So look, there are felony, uh, 34 felony counts here. It is very serious. And again, it's a state case, which means he can't pardon himself if he becomes president. Now, I said that it's federal because it's related to a federal election because that's what he was running as. He's running for president. And so, again, you have this federal state, but ultimately the state has jurisdiction in these, uh, <clears throat> in these business, uh, you know, falsifying business counts, uh, felonies, which again, gets elevated to a higher crime if they're used uh, you know, as a way to cover up another crime, which is the campaign, campaign finance violations. So it's actually way more serious than just, oh, he paid a porn star off to, uh, you know, avoid the story getting out because he was embarrassed. No, election interference, okay? Now, on Monday, his lawyers argued in court documents that prosecutors intended to introduce evidence at trial that could, quote, implicate the concept of official acts and therefore should be protected by presidential immunity and as such should be delayed until the Supreme Court issues its decision. So that is interesting. They're saying, oh yeah, no, no, uh, th these acts, you see, um, they're gonna present evidence that Trump was doing this officially as president and therefore we've gotta wait for that immunity to come down. Now, to me, that seems like a ridic ridiculous argument, um, but, Again, depending on the outcome, it would determine whether prosecutors in this trial would be barred from introducing certain evidence. But more importantly, this would cause a delay in the trial. And that's, that's what it ultimately boils down to here. The Supreme Court gave Trump a gigantic present when they said, okay, we'll hear this case. We'll hear the uh, immunity case. Uh, when it comes to uh, the documents, right? When it comes to overturning the 2020 election. And so, look, um, that right there is, is now allowing him to make appeals on these other cases based on immunity, based on the fact that there has been no immunity he, uh, uh, ruling yet. And so, again, his uh, strategy has been to delay these cases, delay, delay, delay as long as possible until after the election. And so the reason, of course, is that I don't think that, I mean, I don't think he believes that he can win these cases. 
And so if he becomes president again, then he can make the cases go away as president, make the DOJ drop them or to pardon himself. But as I mentioned before, in this specific case, it's a state case, which means he can't. Nonetheless, delay, delay, delay. That is the name of the game and all in a way to try to avoid facing any accountability for the things that he's alleged to have done.